the Lennox crawl space. So, got a limit, I got a pressure switch, and a manometer. So I gotta drag my butt <coughs> all the way back there. Not much room. See what's up. I need a smaller bag. Ouch. Especially for this stuff. Jeez, oh. oh Pete. Dryer vent is just blowing into the crawl space. I gotta get back there. It's the only way I can service this thing. And yeah, it doesn't have a drain. It just drains into the crawl space, that AC. You guys were mentioning it on the last video. Get you guys up on a tripod. There's no room. No room. Let me set you guys up on a tripod. Okay, got you set up on a tripod, but that's a stretch. I, I got a battery on my tripod, which extends it up higher. If I would have left the battery on there, you guys would have been looking at the vent pipe. <clears throat> a lot of you guys, does this light work? No. Oh yeah, it does, look at that. Oh, I got light. <coughs> I didn't notice that last time. That's wonderful. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of you guys said last time, hey, get a manometer on it. Yeah, I should have got a manometer on it. But as you can see, I am cramped <coughs> getting in and out of this crawl space. I do have a manometer. Oops. 
And we'll make a little screw pile over here. Oh, look at that. I shut the switch off with my foot. Out of jumpers. Get a set of jumpers. Oh, I can't move. And I can never find my six of one. Never. It's the most used tool I have. I just throw it everywhere. Just taking, just taking the wires off the board. Now the switch is at. Maybe, not sure. So, the switch makes it 0.34. Okay. Start this up. Let's see what we got for vacuum. vacuum one point nine remember I was flicking that switch and it would jump on and off so I got a good vacuum got a bad switch Three four point three four. So that vacuum readings tell me got a bad switch. This isn't the original. 
This isn't the original switch that's in here. The old one was a metal switch. not in the right way. So if I would have put it in the other way, it would have shorted the ground. The metal would have been up against the plate. start her up let's let's do a little housekeeping kind of what's this
good as she's getting. Good as she's getting. You guys doubt me too much. But I could be wrong. No, the heat exchanger on these units, solid. These things are. I don't think I've ever found one of these 80 MGFs faulty besides on propane. But I don't see too many of them either. The ones I see are pretty solid. Milwaukee light, you can see it screws with the camera. Way, way oversized for this house. I don't even know what this. No, no, it's seventy-five thousand. You either got a choice of a forty, something that's forty thousand, or seventy-five in this day. Oh, this one good. <laughs> Gonna call it good. Let's try not to get scorched by my flute pipe. Side is so wonderful.
damn screw hole. Let me get out of this crawl space. Well, that was an exciting crawl space or follow up. <coughs> crawl spaces suck, especially those. But, you know, you guys from last video are saying, why didn't you get a manometer on? Well, yeah, it's a track out of the crawl space. It's crap. It's not really crappy. It's not bad, but it's just trying to get back into that spot is, is hard. So, got the manometer on it this time. I'm pulling over an inch water column. Switch makes 0.34. So, <clears throat> I know my flue's not plugged because I got enough, uh, <clears throat> got enough water column there. But usually, what happens with those, you get a little condensation in them and it ruins the switch. That's kind of what happens with them. Um. <clears throat> just a track back there you know with with the bag I got to get a smaller bag for especially this stuff because it becomes a royal pain lugging my huge bag back there with all my stuff so I got to invest in a <clears throat> smaller bag and I'll do that this weekend should have had one I shouldn't carry so many tools it's gonna break my back it's just out of habit over the years you know you acquire more tools and you put them in there and you keep on putting them in there and the bag gets heavier and the bag gets heavier and then you got crap in the bottom of the bag and then six months later you decide to clean it out it's that time so this is kind of just a follow-up video to what we're working on before because I didn't do a repair before I just cleaned the flame sensor off um, but then I was having problems. I was getting limit trips, uh, had good airflow. I could tell because downstairs I knew I wasn't getting that hot because I had a register right above me that I could feel I wasn't getting hot at all. <coughs> but like I said, this is just kind of a follow up video. You know, I don't want to leave you guys hanging, you know, Hey, whatever happened to the Lennox in the crawl space. And uh, we will go from there. On to the next one. I think we're a bunch of repairs today. It's the day before Thanksgiving. So we're kind of light on work. So I think I got a bunch of stuff to catch up on, which I have a page full. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.